What if I tell you that some governments are one of the largest suppliers of addictive drugs to heroin users? That's right. Currently, under some drug replacement programs, around 1 million heroin users around the world are receiving a drug called methadone. In one clinic run under this program, I met a young couple of husband and wife. They, had been, they would come at 8 a.m. every morning to bring methadone and then return to work at the factory. They had been doing this for, for the past two years and had regained some of their lives back. They wished they had started earlier, but were held back by some skeptical family members or even some very concerned drug pushers. So what about this WHO recommended substitution therapy that still makes a lot of people doubting it? Once you're addicted to heroin, there is an increase of opioid receptors uh, in the brain that controls pain, reward, and addictive behavior. You would need to maintain higher concentration of heroin. Uh, um, you, you would need to maintain higher concentration of heroin or your nervous system would start throwing tantrum. This tantrum is called the withdrawal effects with symptoms like fever, muscle pain, stomach cramps, anxiety, insomnia, or even hallucinations. Drugs are no longer used to, to chase pleasure, but to relieve these, the pains of withdrawals. Your, your, your life now revolves around asking where and how do I get my next fix. Methadone, re, methadone acts on the exact same opioid receptors and overcomes the harms of heroin in a number of ways. Number one, it is long acting. One dose taken in the morning can last up 24 hours to calm your body and this allows stability. This stability allows social and health workers like myself to work with the heroin users on a number of issues, like getting them screened and treated for HIV, um, finding them jobs, and repair broken family ties. This stability allows them to find back their meaning in life. Methadone, also, uh, methadone can only be taken orally. So what this means is it reduces the risk of getting HIV or hepatitis C through needle sharing. It also prevents the injection of toxic additives like baking soda, for example, which is normally added into heroin by drug dealers in order to maximize profits. All of this brings deadly consequences. Despite all these benefits, methadone is still regarded as another addictive drug. The majority still sees it as another addictive drug, which is why currently less than 10% out of the 16 million heroin users around the world are getting treated. I'm not telling you that methadone is the true cure for heroin addiction, but what I'm saying is it buys us some time. To some people, like the young couple I meet, that time is the difference between life and death. Thank you.